Hi guys, this is just going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get the Windows 8 user interface look onto a PC running Windows 7 in little more than 5 minutes using a program called Rainmeter and then a custom skin you can download from quite a few different places. If you've seen my previous video or any other videos that have Windows 8 on them you'll know what the actual user interface looks like. It's basically a rectangle, big rectangle with lots of square apps that you can move all over the place and this Rainmeter skin does a really good approximation of that. So you need two different downloads. I'll put them both in the description below. The first one you need to go onto is rainmeter.net and then go to the download section here, 2.1 release and press download. And it's really a really small file. And when that's finished, go on to Omnimo 4.1. You can search for it on Google, but I found PC Advisor, the you know the hosting from PCAdvisor.co.uk to be very fast. So you go to the bottom here and you click on this link here, press download and it should take a few seconds to download. In the interest of time, I've already downloaded it so we can get going straight away. So remember where you downloaded it, I'll put it under my download section. And it should look, I've obviously downloaded it like five times, it should look something like, Rainmeter should look like that, and Omnimo thing should look like that if you've got WinZip. So the first thing, you need to install Rainmeter first, so I'll install Rainmeter. Run. Press next. Yeah, I agree. You want the standard installation, uh, make sure you get your version of Windows and add the desktop shortcut if you want to. Yes. Install. And it's finished. Make sure you tick the icon to run Rain Meter because you need it in the background first of all. Then you go on to your download section again and you click on the Omnimo 4.1 you need to extract it first, so go to WinZip or whatever uh, program you've got for extraction and I extract it here so I know where it is. Once that's finished, I just go straight onto the setup, double click, install. Yes. Okay, so once you've got onto this home screen, choose your favourite, uh, your preferences and click next. English. This middle one I think is the best approximation of Windows 8 but obviously if you want it a bit smaller with a bit more information choose the left one and the right one if you want a smaller widget overall. But I think, I think the middle one's the best approximation so I click on that and then you minimize it all and then choose a the resolution that fits you. I've got that size screen. And then you'll see it looks pretty similar so I'll put it in the background the first thing I do is I go right click and I click on uh, variance and this bg.ini one because then if you then click to move up a bit you can see it then it covers the entire screen and obviously you can change the background if I minimize this so if I press rain meter exit I'll hide that in the background if I press right click personalize and click on desktop background picture location solid color I think the Windows 8 one was like a light blue. Click on that one, save changes, and exit. Then double click on Rainmeter to open it again. And it looks a bit more like Windows 8. So um, everything works, like, you know, that's where I am. It's got my uptime, so I've, the computer's been on for an hour. Uh, all the links work to your computer, calculator, control panel, and you can even move them about. So if you you know, move them about like this. So it's not perfect, like, you know, if you want to move it over here, you're going to have to move this one back. It doesn't snap in position like normal, like, you know, the Windows 8 one does. But I think it's a really good approximation, and since it's free, you might as well uh, try it out if you want to have something similar to the Windows 8 preview build. So thanks for watching, and there will hopefully be more videos like this in the future.